Nasdaq Ninja had hit 31 stop losses for the month of March. Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to review the month of March for Nasdaq Ninja. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, the first thing that I do want to bring to you guys' attention is that Nasdaq Ninja started posting weekly signals update. And as the good person that I am, I decided to share it to my story. And once I've said it to my story, some people started DMing me and say, those numbers are not what it looks like in, in the VIP. And I thought to myself, okay, well, let's go and find out exactly what it is. According to his Instagram, he has only lost three plus two plus another three signals for the month of March, which is about eight signals, right? According to my calculations that I have over here, he has lost more than that in the first week of March. But I'm going to take you guys through that information very quickly. Now, we're going to go back to the first of March and you can see there was a buy. Now, keep in mind that every time you see a blue screens, that means the trade has gone into profit. If there's nothing, then that means there's nothing really to look at. First of March signal was sent on the 9th of uh, March over there. <clears throat> Remember, quickest way to make sure that we've got the date and time correct is just to look at this blue line. First of March, stop loss was hit, right? Then we continue. Uh, then there was a second one at 421, which is that one over there. That stop loss hit. Now we're going to continue. Um, there was a buy, 954 on the 5th of March, 954. Um, the, is that the 4th? Am I right? Uh, let me just go back here. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. There. There we go. Buy 9-11 over there, 4th of March. That stop loss was triggered. And then the next one that was sent was... Uh, let me just speed this up a little bit because there is a lot that we need to cover, right? There was a buy sent on the 5th of March at 9.54, which was on the 5th of March at 9.54. Am I correct? There we go which was this one over here, right? It was sent right, right in there. That stop loss, we can always argue whether it triggered or not, but we went into some profit. The market then took a U-turn, right? Then the next uh, signal that was sent thereafter <clears throat> was another buy on the down zones at 3.13, right? That was sent there. Just check there, right? Stop loss was hit. The next signal that was also sent over there was at 4.21, on the fifth there we go right that was at 421 there we go okay so you got into that spike over there market u turned that stop loss was also hit now you can see that there was some profit made here and if you look at the price you can just see how little the, the you know the profits were but however i don't know what you consider a win which is why I have made that video yesterday for you to decide. I'm speaking based on my own personal opinion. And for me, this is a stop hit because why this could potentially be a small move, could be a big move. I don't know. But yeah, they consider anything as a win. In any case, let's continue. Um, then we had the blue screens. There was a girl who child bubblegum and you can see people are not too happy about that result that came out of there. The 5th of March couldn't news with a signal sent at 6 37 pm which was this one over here that stop was triggered which now brings the total to about one two three four five six seven seven stop losses that was hit in a row right that's about the same that he anticipated to have completed for the for the duration of the entire month right there we've got some red screens and mixed with blue screens we really not here to justify the next trade then started getting TP1, TP2, and TP3, and we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt for that, right? 6th of March, 8.14 was a beautiful execution trade. Uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me. It was sent, yeah, somewhere, somewhere there. Uh, at just that quarter past 8, uh, there we go, right? So this trade was sent at quarter past 8, and we basically went to TP1, I believe, had hit. TP2, 38.902 sits somewhere along here. So just the TP3 didn't hit. And then TP2 was 38.775, um, which we are going to basically 38.775, which was there. Okay, cool. So at TP1 hit and TP2 hit. Once again, you refer back to the video that I made yesterday to decide how you would approach the situation. For me, the overall trade was good because TP1 was over a 1% loss. 
was over one percent as well so let's continue with this very quickly now the next signal was sent on the 6th of march again which was a buy at 8 15 um that was sent on the 6th of march which i do believe was the one that we just looked at now sorry um there we go there you can see the blue screens and then you ask for more blue screens there you can see tp1 had hit then on the 6th of march at 4 51 there was another signal sent um 4 51 which is this one over here the reason why i didn't plot this one because the prices are completely out firstly 38 double six nine 38 double six nine sits somewhere yeah right 38 double six nine is somewhere there we go there right the signal as you can see was seen at 451 which is here this is a buy so you can't buy with the stop loss being there so for that reason i did not include or add it on there um on march the 7th we are gonna go let's go there we go march the 7th there was one seen at 8 844 which was this one over here that stop loss had hit and then on then the next trade was a buy on the german 30 that we are going to go and speak about very quickly that was the first buy on german 30 um, they said cut the position so it will be back um, then on the 7th of march there was a the one they were just spoken about over here um, this trade was sent here so this trade came with a stop loss but no tp so i plotted it as is and you can see it went exactly as anticipated and we're going to count that as a win right next one was a sell on the us 30 that we're going to go back to that was also sent on the 7th uh, we're going to go there very quickly right you can see that it looks ugly that's why i tell people these signals these this 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 video in particular took about four hours to plot these signals on here uh, this one over here was a sell on the Dow Jones uh, 423. Um, there we go. 423 was just around there. That stop loss was hit as well. Next was a sell on the NASDAQ 100. And that one also, just remember if you get no blue screens, it means that the trade didn't go as they would have anticipated, right? I guess uh, the free group might have been very quiet as well. 7th of March, NASDAQ. Here we go. Um, that stop loss hit as well. Now we're going to continue. Then on the 8th of March, there was a buy on the Dow Jones at 9.45. That we are also going to go and take a look at, right? Let me just get through this very quickly. Um, here we go, right there. Boom. That was uh, March the 8th. You can see there, March 8, 9.45. Uh, 9.45, that stop was triggered as well then we continue then there was a buy on the dow zones um that was in at 321 which was this one over here as you can see <clears throat> excuse me that market took off exactly as anticipated and people was once again yes nasdaq to go then 11th of march there was another buy sold at uh, send at 855 which was this one over here now this is where uh, you got the fastest hat trick right and the 11th of march there was three stop losses triggered between 9.15 and quarter to three. And I'm just going to press play, which is one, two, okay, two. That, that, that trade didn't, <laughs> that trade, guys, that trade didn't go far, right? You'll see that that trade, basically, it was there. It went like that, and then it went down, right? Then it came up spiked then it came down again <laughs> now you might count this as a win right this video is based on my own personal opinion not not if you feel that you still want to sign up you can see there people are finding this very funny and then the this <laughs> okay any case let's go to the 12th of march Ooh, uh, i think it's time for the ninja to hang up his his uh his his, his is 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 leave now say so guys i'm done with with selling signals 12th of march there we go another one this trade went into some profit that made a u-turn the stop loss was hit um 
so March the 13th, there was another buy, which was this one over here, right? Now, this for me is what you call a trade, right? This is one of the things I would call a trade because this trade basically took off very well. Then there was another entry. Then that also went well, right? I'm not going to say that this stop loss had hit because I do feel like the amount of pips that it's gone in profit can account for the stop losses should it hit on the next trade, right? That's provided that people still have money left in their accounts. <laughs> Any case, the 13th of March continues with the bar on the NASDAQ and it's kind of mixed feelings uh, there in the reaction section. Um, let's go there quickly. That was what did I say on the 13th of March, 13th of March. There we go. Now, here we go. Now, for me, this is a stop loss, right? Because if you look at the, so the, 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 the price between the stop loss and the entry versus the profits that it's gone into. But like I said, some people will count this as a win and he does count it as a win. You might not count it as a win. I, 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 I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's about preference, right? The next signal, 13th of March, once again. Uh, let's continue. 13th of March, you can see whew, this blue lines. Uh, let's go in there. 13th of March. Uh, here we go. That that was that buy that I spoke to you guys about earlier that came through at 3.23, right? There you can see, 3.23. And then we are going to continue. Continue. There we go. 14th of March, there was a buy that taken place at about 8 o'clock, which is this one over here. Also, very, 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 very beautiful trade. Um, okay, there we go. Then there was a buy on the NASDAQ at 10 past 3, which we're going to go and take a look at very quickly. Um, buy on the NASDAQ at 10 past 3. There we go, which was this one, right? That stop got triggered on the 15th of March. We will see now. Uh, 14th of March at 10 past 3. So we are basically one step ahead over here. How did I think this was on the 14th? Buy NASDAQ on the 14th. Let me just plot it on the 14th as well. Because why? I do think that there was one... That was at 3.10 p.m. 3.10 p.m. This was 3.15. So it would have been it there because that's 3.15. This was at 3.10. Stop loss was 18.100. Um, let's do that. Take 18.100 there. Okay. That is basically, I think this year, this, this spike, let's see the price that it did buy. That will give us some sort of an indication that is 18 or double one six. Okay, 18. Am I am I seeing this right? 18 one one six. 18 one one six one one six. There we go. <clears throat> so there you can see we had that move to the upside with that green candle, the next red candle. Then came back to eat that uh, stop, but there's a blue screens in the house. There we go. I think that's 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 where the people go like hey, we were buying and then it came down once again. Yeah, this is what happens when you uh, sell when you when you pay for signals. There, oh that that guy. Yeah, some of the people that actually went the other way. Guys, it, this is a pullback. When you see a pullback, you're supposed to lock profits. You are supposed to lock profits. Not what I paid for. Any case, let's go. 15th of March, uh, 7.55. Uh, let's get in there. 15th of March. Uh, here we go. 15th of March, uh, 7.45. That's about the year. Okay, stop loss was once again triggered. Uh, there we go. 3.19 March, the 15th. Uh, boo, boo, boo. let's go there. Oh, the 15th. No. Here we go. Your, your, your. Okay, 15th. Uh, 15th. I pull man. Okay, 15th of March. 
Okay, yeah, so we did not actually plot it. No, NASDAQ, sorry guys, my, my head's all over the place. Okay, in any case, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go th still till there. You can see the stop loss had it. Then this is the first time that you actually see him, like, you know, saying that the stop loss had it, but we have had a lot of stop losses that were triggered before there as well. Now this one, there we go, that's where I counted. There we go. So March the 18th over here was a uh, trade on gold. That was the main TP. This trade was beautifully executed when in the deep in the blues. There you can see TP1 had hit um, the buy on the Dow Zones. That was sitting at 313. Um, let's go back to the Dow Zones. Uh, back on the Dow Jones, I think. There we go. Yeah, another beautiful trade, right? But there, I'm not sure if that stop loss actually triggered, but it did go into some profit then before it actually came down. So again, if you see the blue screens, then you must know results. You see there. The only thing is, he, he personally doesn't trade with a stop loss. So his stuff might look different from the people um, in there as well. Then there was a sell on the NASDAQ. That one was also seen on the 18th at 5. At the, on the 18th at 5. Um, uh, here we go. Uh, it should be this one here. Okay, here we go. That sell beautifully executed down there. There you can see uh, that trade ran into some beautiful profits. Then March the 19th at 8 in the morning. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. 19th of March at 8 in the morning. So it's a lot of signals. And, and I said this before and he went on to the podcast to say, yeah, this guy says send a lot of signals, but you do send a lot of signals. Use a lot of signals as well. Any case, here we go. March uh, the 19th at 8 p. 8 a.m. That stop loss was it. There was another position added, and both of that stop losses got triggered. Then the market went up. Then he wanted to sell. Then that stop loss hit there as well. So we'll get to that signals. There we go. There, there was a buy on the German 30. That trade. On the 19th did go as anticipated I would still believe if my memory serves me correctly which was this one yeah yeah there we go uh, there we go there you can see on the 19th at 9 a.m. that was that one I think I might have I, I don't know why I'm seeing the same stuff here again but this is how confusing it gets when you have to go through so many signals. So if I make any mistakes, guys, just please just bear with me. You can always backtest the information because everything is there for you, right? Then there was another bar on the German 30 at 12.15. Um, also on the 19th. Uh, I want to see if I did put that there. Um, German 30, 12th. Uh, twelve fifteen, which was the once again. I think this, this, yeah, there. That, uh, that's that stop got triggered. Um, sorry, that was a US thirty trade that he said. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Any case, um, that was nineteen thirteen. Uh, on the nineteenth, once again, we have to go and look for it in here. There we go. 19th at 8, the stop loss hit. Then there was another one. 12.15, which was that one over there. You can see there, right? 12.15, there. That stop loss got hit, right? Then there was a buy on the NASDAQ. That one was uh, also sent on the 19th of March. Um, on the 19th. <clears throat> uh, here we go. Right, this was a, a buy at 350 that you can see there. Right, it actually went very well. Boom, straight to the moon. And uh, then he wants results only when, only when there's winning trades. I I don't know why people would still even send results. I would have just said I don't have any more. <laughs> I don't have any more money to to trade day sell US 13 19th of March. 
then the stop losses continue and you know what I, th I think it's 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 like here we go this 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 was this one now you know what the funny thing is right 1654 the 9th of March there was a cell there and just after five just 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 somewhere there but you can see the stop loss was hit right but you know what the funny thing is about this right the the this information is not mine i did not send the signal i did not approve these signals right they he said that these results they look better than than what i thought it would be right but you you you'll see who get upset first any case now we go mars the 20th uh, which was there at 8 a.m um let me just go back so sell you is the sorry so difficult it's very difficult to maneuver here through these things um yeah okay sell the next signal was a sell on the nasdaq let's go to the nasdaq very quickly don't worry guys i'm gonna start editing these videos myself soon i just need to complete some work this week you know some some studying uh, any case we are on the 20th of march uh, nasdaq sell at 8 a.m 20th of march here we go that stop loss got hit the sell on the us 30 also on the 20th um <laughs> sell on the 30 20th yeah okay sell on the 20th um there you can see that trade just started to uh, to move down okay so i'm gonna take you guys through the rest of the signals and play the video for you guys because why i don't want to drag this video too long i know most people will probably not even get here but yeah we can see the next stop was triggered that was a beautiful trade on the 21st of march there was two beautiful trades and on march the 22nd there was two stop losses that was hit march 25th we had a good trade there then march 25th once again there was the two stop losses that got triggered yeah we can debate whether or not it stopped triggered but there was a good trade and followed by another okay trade then uh, another trade in profit stop loss hit stop loss hit that was us 30 right we're gonna just skim through this because uh, i don't even know if there's anybody still guys if you made it this far in the video <laughs> just say yes I, I just want to see who actually watched the videos, the full videos. Any case, here we go. Good trade, beautiful trade. Ugh, you know, the two stop losses got triggered over there. Um, and that's it, right? We go to NAS100. Uh, we're going to go, we're going to start here. Okay, that trade went good. Stop loss got triggered. That's a good trade. <clears throat> um, yeah. There's, there's way too many signals. The signals is way too much. You need to cut it. Stop loss hit. And this was another good trade. Right? Stop hit there as well. Guys, that 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 concludes. I'm going to press play. Let the signals run for the guys who are redoing this. You know, just to see what's happening. But there you can see all of the signals. I'm not going to go through. I'm not going to speak through all of them. Because why? I know that a lot of people are not going to watch all this far and but if you have watched this far thank you i do appreciate it guys please let me know your thoughts about these signals in the comment section below also let me know what you think about the fact that the numbers that was posted to instagram in the weekly results does not line up to what was sent to us over here what do you guys think about that because why it is it is like I'm in that point now with this reviews where you go, but you're lying, and then but but you can't say they're lying, right? <laughs> because why? For some reason, if you like like if you talk bad about people, like if you do a good uh, review, right? So if you say say some good stuff, then then then, then it's fine. But the minute you say something that is is there is no it they, you know when it doesn't comprehend or sit well with them, they you know they want want to get upset because of it. But there you guys can see it was still going, still going, still going. <clears throat> there, 
25th of March, send the yellow signals. There was signals galore. If you guys want to redo this, you can. You might as well just go over it. There, okay, there. That's basically where it ended. That's it. That all the signals I've plotted the entire month. Uh, you guys can go and check it out. Guys, thank you for your time. And as always, cheers.